welcome back everybody to Valkyria Chronicles. So here we are at chapter 6. I've leveled everybody up to 8 and uh, we got a battle to do. So let's uh, go to the battle of various Desert, shall we? See what this battle is all you about. You will now be briefed on the operation. Okie doke. Enemies spread out across across a wide area of the desert. Yes, this is a very, very large map. You'll move in from the south and take them out. Along the way, you'll find the standing remains of ruins, which would make for good cover from enemy fire. Your objective is to claim the base, that's obvious. There's a lot of distance to cover out there. I'd recommend adding a long-range sniper unit or two. Yes, that's very important. When you're ready to advance, though, their limited AP can mean they might fall behind. Yes, they don't. They can't walk very far. In such a case, move them to the nearest camp after clearing the. Ah, I can't talk. Area of enemies and have them retreat. Then, after you advance, after your advance units occupy the next enemy camp, you can redeploy them there. That'll speed them along. Oh well, yeah, we, we've shown that before. Um, anyway, let's take their advice and stick two snipers up here. Um, I've got three snipers to choose from here. Go with um, go with Oscar there and Cesare there. Sorry, Catherine. It's only room for two snipers up there. Now for our main team, of course we want Alicia, um, we will stick her, I guess, there. And we're going to want Frieza, actually. Uh, Frieza. Uh, we'll stick Frieza there. Rosie, um, there. Vise, there. Of course we want Largo for the action point. Now we've got one space left. Um, I'm a little tempted to bring in an engineer, but really we're not going to need it for this particular mission, the way I'm going to play it anyway. Um, I feel safer bringing along another shock trooper just in case. So let's go ahead and do that. Deploy! Alright, we're set to begin. Good luck. Now loading. Yes, we know. The enemy spread out through the desert region. Squad 7, move out. Something else. I've never seen rocks with holes like these. Falia was saying those holes are the result of the same blast that scorched the area. There are furrows dug into the ground, too. Must have really been some explosion. Are you serious? That's crazy. Yeah, but those trenches and rock walls should make for solid cover. On an open field like this, we'll use whatever we can get. Squad 7, move out! Alright, well, looks like we have 10 command points, and there's a, like they said, there's a very large shield and a lot of enemies. We gotta get trust to all of this to get to their enemy camp here. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. I'm gonna do it. I, I've got a, a way to usually get there by about the third turn. Uh, the big problem here is these two snipers, and sadly this one is crouching, which makes it very difficult to get to him, especially even with your snipers. I think there's actually a third one around here somewhere too. Um, these snipers can come in very handy, as I'll show you soon enough. But first, I want to send something to kill this scout and this shock trooper. Uh, Rosie, I, I kind of hate to use her here because she's allergic to the desert, but... Uh, She's here anyway, so 
whatever. Alright, buddy. Take that! Alright, that's one down. Um, I'm thinking I'll send Vyze to go take out that shock trooper. I'll take care of it. Found a target. Ooh, that was close. He almost shot at me. I get him in only 18 shots, but I'm gonna move up anyway. Cause headshots are more fun. Yeah, that's a lot of guys. Don't let the heat get to you. And look, there's a mine right there. Why would you stick a mine in that corner like that? Stay calm. Maintain formation and flank them. Alright, I'm gonna have to take another turn to move by somewhere a little safer than right there. That's a bad spot. I'll take care of it. Can I get one of these guys? No. 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 Oh, maybe him. No. Ah, screw it. You're gonna waste your turn anyway. Oh, wow, I got him. Uh. Okay. Good. That makes things a bit easier. Yes, it does. Watch out for that mine right there. Uh, one of the times when I practiced, that particular mine kind of got me. Alright. Next order of business is to use these snipers a bit. Did you say so? Now, snipers only have a limited amount of ammo per uh, turn. You replenish oh, you one shot per turn. So, he can only use three shots and then he's he's kind of used up. So, important to note about snipers. Now, if I get him with the headshot, I can kill him right away. Yes! Excellent. See what Unfortunately, you get? those what other snipers got? are just a little too difficult for me, uh, this guy. So I'm gonna take him and move him back here. Uh, those enemy snipers are extremely good. Uh, they've one shot it. Oh my guys in practice from very far away. Can I get this guy? No. No. Mm, doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe. If I'm lucky. Come on, hit. Got him. All right. Good job, snipers. Yes. Target silence. Head to the next one. Let's try and protect our snipers from the enemy snipers. Best way to do that is just to kind of station them right there. Um, the next thing I want to do, I think, is to take. I'm actually going to take the freezer. Got a few extra turns left. What? 
me dance. Okay. Careful, Get up they're there. heading towards a machine gun. First thing, we want to take this camp carefully. Alright, no resistance at all. Take note, there are mines right there. Okay, carefully. Set a reasonable pace to preserve your strength. Enemy sighted! Haha. <laughs> Alright. Let's go with that. They can't counterattack, so that's good. Okay, we've got three turns left here. Let's try and take these enemy snipers if we can. Get him! All right. Much easier to take the snipers out this way. Good work. Keep it up. You're clear to advance. Move out. Mm. I don't like this, but uh, go ahead and stop that like there. I've got a point left, but I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, end my turn. See what the enemy does here. That's not good. This is actually the first time I've ever taken out the snipers on the first turn. What's that shock trooper doing? Ooh. Ugh. I see. Going after Frieza, huh? Whoa. Nice try. Haha, -ha, you missed. Order's in order. Hopefully to take that uh, shock trooper out. Come on, get him! So yes! Good work. Yes, that is good work. Good sniper. Now, what my basic strategy here is just to take Frieza and kind of rush Frieza all the heck, all the way up to there. Uh, it could be kind of dangerous. But, luckily, there's a sandstorm that appears somewhere up here that will shield us. So, let's I'm ready start with here. Now, I normally don't do this until the turn three, so I'm actually one turn ahead, and it might mess me up slightly. Might have to be a little more cautious than normal. There. Comes the sandstorm. Looks like the wind's really picking up. 
I suspect it's a sandstorm, Welks. These Badlands are infamous for sandstorms, bad enough to drop visibility to zero. I see. That'll make it tougher to spot the enemy until the storm blows over. Yes, but the same applies to the enemy. Now is our chance to advance undetected. Hiding within the sandstorm is a valid tactic when crossing ground with no natural cover. Good idea. Thanks, Ys. Alright. Now, let's not waste this turn. Go ahead and heal Frieza. You see, we're, we're almost there. It'd take maybe two more turns or so to get to the base area. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and try and do this here. Time for a quick step. All right, evasion boost. That's nice. I highly doubt we can do any damage to the tank. Take that. Mildly inconvenient you. That's gonna take some poor engineer, you know, like a couple minutes to get those things out. Dance. Sucks for him. Anything I can attack here? to waste turns. Alright. Um, I should mention, somewhere right around this area is a enemy ace that you can get a weapon from, but like before, it's a weapon that kind of sucks, so. Watch me dance! Oh, shoot. I don't want to risk it. Uh, I'm not so sure I can get there in enough turns to... You have to kill the shock trooper to capture the flag, unfortunately. I'm still too far away. I'm ready to go. Down to the wire. This point. Every single AP point counts here. Take that. Okay, we've got three points. Ow, 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 ow. Not good. Actually, I can't take him out, can I? Wow, I can. Come on, don't miss. Yes! Oh, thank goodness. I think we're gonna do this, guys. Next partner. I'm so close to the flag. Two points. You can do it, Frieza. Occupy. Victory. Yes. Oh, that went excellent, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I missed the enemy ace, but whatever. Operation complete. We took their base. Heck yeah, we did. In two turns, sucker! Oh yeah, look at that beautiful A rank. Over 20,000 experience points, too. Oh, that was very, very good.
new episode. All right, the desert ruins. Let's go ahead and watch this, shall we? Kind of our reward for beating the mission. Huh? What's this supposed to be anyway? What a weird place for something like this. There you all are. Hey there, Faldio. I didn't know you were out here too. I'm an archaeology major, remember? I was ordered to observe the ruins interior. The shape of it really is unusual. I've never seen anything like it. I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. Where could it have been? This building was supposedly erected millennia ago by the Valkyrie themselves. So they actually existed then? Yes. The Valkyrie make a sudden appearance in European history thousands of years ago. Records say they brought with them incredibly advanced technology and divine might. Then one day, their history just ends. The Valkyrie just disappeared. I always thought they were just a myth. That's it. I remember now. Remember what, Welkin? What are you shouting about? The Dread Nautilus. This structure looks just like a Dread Nautilus. A Dread Nautilus? What's that? You don't know? They're marine cephalopods. They live inside pointy spiral shells. And these ruins look just like that shell. I wonder if there's some connection there. Welkin, you can be such a... Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Forget it. Right. Let's take a look inside, then. We may find some clue to why the Empire is out here. Alicia, I want you to come help Faldio and me look around inside. Largo, Rosie, and Isara, you stay here. Be on the lookout for movement in the area. All right, sir. Please be careful. Alright, we've got one more to finish off the chapter, but I'm actually going to stop here, and there's a good reason for that. Uh, I should go ahead and explain that at the beginning of every chapter, you have a chance for the guy at the graveyard to teach you a new order. Um, I found if you save right before the chapter starts, that if you show up and find that he doesn't have anything to teach you, or is teaching you something you don't want to know, you can just reload your save. Uh, review the last thing and then start the chapter and then it goes all over and you can just keep doing that over and over until you finally get the uh, desired result so it's a way to manipulate the system I guess you could say but I'd rather not go a, a chapter with learning nothing so I'm gonna go ahead and save here um, next chapter we'll um, finish this off we'll start on the next chapter we'll go and do some training stuff and learn something from that uh, guy at the graveyard um, I should also mention between now and the next battle, I want to get all of my soldiers up to level 11. Um, I mentioned before that at level 11 they kind of evolve into stronger forms, and that's going to be very, very important for this coming mission. It makes it a hell of a lot easier, and even with that, it's still an extremely difficult mission um, if you don't know what you're doing. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I did. I, th I think this is about the best I've ever done on that particular mission, so I'm, I'm like, proud of myself, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, catch you guys on the next Valkyria Chronicles. Thank you, and goodbye.